Thursday, November 14th, USCIS published a proposed rule that would substantially heighten application and petition fees. Overall, fees would rise by 21%. More than a quarter of that increase would fund a transfer of $207 million out of USCIS into ICE for immigration enforcement purposes. For certain forms, the proposed fee hikes are dramatic. Application fees for green cards, when coupled with work and travel authorization, would surge by 79%. For naturalization, by 83%. Making matters worse, the rule would eliminate fee waivers for both of those forms, as well as for many others. And for the first time, the United States would impose a fee, $50, for affirmative asylum applications. Meanwhile, among a host of changes impacting businesses, the rule would relax USCIS's premium processing deadline from 15 calendar to 15 business days. Despite the volume and complexity of these various proposals, USCIS has provided only a 30-day period to comment on the rule. This rule wouldn't just elevate fees, it would elevate the Trump administration's invisible wall. The fee hikes, together with the elimination of vital fee waivers, would price many individuals and families out of our legal immigration system. The asylum fee, specifically, could result in the deportation and even death of vulnerable protection seekers who lack financial recourse. And the change to the premium processing calendar will prompt slower adjudications, meaning slower hiring, for American businesses facing critical workforce gaps. Altogether, this rule would mean increased fees and decreased service, forcing USCIS customers, at least those who can still afford to be customers, to pay more for less. Far from it. Since the last USCIS fee increase in 2016, the backlog has soared. During that time, USCIS's own inefficient policies have been chief drivers of the growing processing delays. The rule even acknowledges that the agency may expand one of those policies, wasteful in-person interview requirements for employment-based green card applicants. Yet USCIS is proposing higher fees to support the continued implementation of such measures, in effect, foisting onto the public the cost of its own inefficiency. To fix the backlog, the agency should start by rescinding misguided policies, not by ratcheting up fees to subsidize them. It's important to remember that the proposed rule is just that, a proposal. Before the publication of the final rule, USCIS must review all comments submitted by the public. During that process, this regulation could undergo significant changes. Already, AILA is pushing back against it. We've joined over 100 organizations in urging USCIS to extend the comment period from 30 to 60 days. In our comment, we intend to highlight the harmful impacts the agency's proposals would have on families, protection seekers, and businesses throughout the nation. And AILA will keep members informed of relevant developments, including opportunities to lend their voices to this effort. We'll continue our fight for a service-oriented USCIS that facilitates rather than obstructs legal immigration.